We've got a scene where an assassin is attacked by one of uh, direwolves and we'll do shots where we'll have one of Jim's guys dressed as a double. The dog will hit him in the neck, he'll fall over with the dog onto the floor, then the, the dog will be chewing at the handler's neck and we'll do some shots of that. And then you go to the actor who's just basically bleeding to death on the floor. So, yeah, but the dogs are, you know, the, what they do with animals is amazing. Yeah, we do work closely with the stunt coordinator just because whenever we come to an aspect of trainers being the stunt person, we want to help with that. Because I, even though I'm going to be the assassin and play that for the stunts, I don't know how to be a stunt person, but I know I can get the best out of the dog. So he, I'm sure he'll say, no, fall this way, or no, you need to do this, or whatever um, that works. And that's what we count on Paul for. The dagger that was used by the assassin, we kind of wanted to make it a little bit more ornate because it's meant to appear in the story quite a few times, so we're meant to recognize it. And I wanted to have something that was lethal both ends. So the actual um, handle of it, uh, you can imagine stabbing somebody with it as well as the blade. And Tommy and I got very excited talking about how lethal we could make this thing look. As I say about the, the assassin's dagger, it's, um, it's supposed to be very rare. It's supposed to be on a black dragon bone. And the blade also is one of the things where it's um, a pattern welded blade or Damascus blade. It was a nice project. It was a hard one to try to get it out as a physical item because there's a lot of gold leaf on it which takes a long time to cure, a long time to process. It's a totally unique item for what it is. It's lovely, it's very nice.